uh, welcome back to our youtube channel so in this uh, session we are going to show you how to create a cloud function inside gcp infra so first of all what are the cloud function in gcp okay so if we are talking about the cloud functions so they are a serviceless computing service offered by google cloud platform which are an easy way to run your code in the cloud that means you can run your code by using java python ruby nodes uh, go and .NET, php and ruby these are the primary language you can use to write up your code and another additional feature in cloud function you can see these services are event based and it supports a lot of events like your https event cloud storage events cloud five store events pub sub fiber base base and stack driver so in gcp you can uh, see uh, they are saying cloud functions is a lightweight event based asynchronous compute solution that allow us to create a small single purpose functions that respond to cloud events and you don't need to and you can say without the need to manage a server or a runtime environment okay now let's uh, create a cloud function so uh, before creating a cloud function there are some api you have to enable so in my case i have already enabled them so here you can see that is the first generation and second generation so the next question you may have what is the first generation and what is the second so first generation is more lightweight one concurrency per instance so that means in a single instance you can run only one concurrency and simple feature and less knob to tweak cheaper it is pretty much deploy and forget it is actual and app engine standard okay but the second gen cloud function is on cloud run you have more control up to 1000 concurrency per instance larger resources longer run time okay so in front first generation the runtime is 9 minutes but in the second generation the runtime is 60 minutes that is much better and here so i am going to choose uh, gen 2 cloud func function message so here we are just going to uh, display some message in this example and we are going to choose region as a us central and then trigger type so here you can see pubs up storage fire store and other triggers so you can fire uh, your cloud function on these triggers on these events actually and then this is the url of my cloud function so if you want to use it you can so i am going to allow unauthentication invocations the next uh, thing you can set runtime build connection and security settings so let's go through one by one uh, in memory you can see uh, you can set memory up to 32 GB but in gen 1 the max size of your memory was 8 GB and even though you can customize it okay so in our case I am going to use only 4 GB and this is the CPU 
so I am going to use the minimum CPU usage ok so yeah ok 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 going to 1 and the timeout is 60 seconds and max concurrency for instance is 1 ok and uh, I am going to set is 5 and the runtime service account so I am going to use by default uh, our uh, app sport js services account ok if you want to create your new one you can create here and then the build here I am going to use the default service account the app uh, service account and you can uh, build worker pools and you can set your environment variables which is which can be utilized in your code and there is a connection allow all traffic I'm going to use it okay and then uh, awareness setting I'm not doing anything over here in this example and the security the secret if you want to add any secret reference you can add here and encryption you can uh, I'm going to use Google manage encryptions and then image repository so there uh, there are three types Google container registry Google manage artifact customer manage artifact so I'm going to use Google manage artifact okay now going to the click on next button so here I am going to choose so here you can choose any language like .NET Go with the default other many versions Java, Node.js, PHP, Python and Ruby so I am going to choose Python I am more comfortable with Python okay now I am going to uh, here this is the our main code this is the default code you can see so here we are reading the data from the JSON and the variable name is name and we are getting the read this uh, name variable into the uh, name variable from the request JSON okay and then else else world if uh, we are not passing any name then the default val value would be uh, world so I'm going to change it hello world welcome hello hello welcome to or uh, welcome and in the requirement you can add any uh, package which uh, which uh, on which your cloud function will depend ok and going to deploy it and this is the entry point entry point is nothing it is your cloud main it is your main function which is going to call so you have to set your uh, entry point as well you can uh, change it as you want ok then I am going to deploy this ok now here you can see your build process has been started and service uh, is, is still pending so it uh, it has generated a cloud run name of the uh, of gen2 cloud fun message this is the name of our cloud function let's wait for another couple of minutes and for the time being we are going to check the details this is the actual path of our cloud function and here you can see the details as well I'm going to uh, check like this is the last deploy region memory allocated CPU timeout and minimum instance max instance concurrency and the service account then uh, here it, is, it has been deployed and the source this is the actual source uh, we have changed it you can see here and apart from this you can download this function uh, into the GIF format 
and the uh, there is uh, the variables if you are going to set any runtime variables they are going to deploy here if you are going to use any secret uh, many uh, secrets you can uh, uh, see them over here and if you have any build environment variable you can see and this is the trigger this is the actual path so i'm going to copy this and paste it okay so here you can see welcome world and apart from this, this uh, you can see the these permission are necessary to run this your cloud function and the logs and uh, here is the testing part okay in the testing part if i'm going to pass uh press any message like this uh gen to cloud function and click on the test button then it is going to show you the testing result as well okay give me a minute so it is going to see yeah here you can see the output okay anything you are going to pass it is going to display here like blah blah uh, yep and you can click on the test function and then you can see the output yep so guys you can see it is very easy to create a cloud function event based cloud function in uh, google cloud platform so please like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching us